Let me start my speech by delivering a quote written by Peggy Claus in one of her books. While hard skills comprise of the concrete knowledge and technical abilities, soft skills permit you to project your abilities and knowledge more effectively, and I couldn't agree more. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Angelina Sindoro from St. Hendrick Senior High School, and the topic that I choose for the day is why soft skills in learning are vital in an academic environment. To start with, let me demonstrate what soft skills are based on my perspective. Soft skills are one's ability to work and communicate, a portrayal on how someone feels and act, and a human-centered skill in general. There are several examples of soft skills that we often heard about, such as teamwork, time management, leadership, problem solving, networking, critical thinking, and so on. They might come across as insignificant to some people when they were compared to a hard skill or two namely data programming or graphic designing. But in reality, without soft skills, those hard skills you have acquired could mean nothing in society. Moving right along, we can develop hard skills via education, hands-on training, additional courses, or even through a direct experience. While to obtain soft skills, we cannot always find them in school curriculum, and they are not as straightforward to be obtained as hard skill. Soft skills are rather a natural thing within ourselves and are obtained through our entire life. Nevertheless, we are still able to improve and develop our soft skills through self-reflection and stepping outside our comfort zone. However, a question of the day, are soft skills actually important in an academic environment? It is known that school generally taught us hard skills more than soft skills, from history, geography, the physical education, music, and languages. All of the subjects included too contain exams that rather abandon our soft skills and prioritize memorization, making some of us think that soft skills aren't as important as hard skills. Only few of the exams require critical thinking, which is a soft skills, and help us sharpen it. However, the thing I want to point out is, without some soft skill use, we will eventually fail exams or even miss a few of assignments when they were scheduled contemporaneously. To keep, to keep up with big schedule, one should have decent time management and responsibility. On the other hand, to keep up with some group projects, one should have the ability to work in a group or teamwork and communication skill. Those examples are enough to answer my question above or before. Besides the importance of soft skills for students' current studies, having or and improving soft skills in the present are also enormous and crucial for the future, whether it's for create establishing their own businesses or working under some companies. Say a student at school not only use their communication skill for a mere presentation project, but to approach and connect with the other students emotionally and build a strong relation with them or in short networking, they can use that network to promote their future career. To sum up, soft skills are a necessary aspect of improving one skill to work and communicate and can possess a positive influence on furthering one's future. Students who recognize the essence of soft skills on time too are able to master their studies more successfully, complete their student obligation on time, make more acquaintances that may be useful in their future, and present themselves better to professors who can also play an important role in their future careers. Soft skills are also in direct correlation with improved academic achievement, so students should have should develop them both for the sake of their education and for the sake of their professional careers. On the other hand, a lack of soft skills can limit students' potential. At last, it's never too late to develop more soft skills as much as hard skills to level up your academic life and future career. That's all that I cover today. Thank you for listening.